Hello everybody, I hope you are well. Um, what we're going to do today is something that I actually, I'm going to say pioneered, uh, only it sounds facetious that, but what I mean is something I did going back 25 years before Pilates was even a thing. Um, I've been teaching for 30 years, uh, actually over 30 years, it's probably about 35, but anyway, I can't remember what, when I started this particular thing, but um, I used to teach Pilates very differently than people do now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've got my Pilates qualifications over the last sort of 20 years, 15, 18 years, but I was doing stuff at Jersey Pilates work before that. And what I used to do was do routines, Pilates routines, and nobody else was doing that. And, um, and then I qualified in all many, many other different things. And, and another Pilates qualification. And it kind of went to the back of my mind. I was lying in bed last night thinking, how Visionary was doing like routines, Pilates routines to music. And um, that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do a total flow Pilates because it just flows from one move to the next, to the next, and you link it. Uh, it's, it's really quite powerful. And I would say most definitely not beginner I would thoroughly recommend to do Total Pilates intro um, and other Total Pilates classes before you do Total Flow Pilates. It is quite challenging. And I'm not going to, I'm going to remind you about your core, switching it on, imagining you're stopping yourself having a wee, squeezing your backside. But, you know, you shouldn't be just bolting onto this now. You should have been, you should have done some Pilates before this so you'll know about all that. Okay, so... Without further ado, I'm going to drink my tea at some point during it, my chamomile tea. I've got water, I've got space, uh, I've got my lesson plans as usual. Um, so don't forget, uh, get me on YouTube, Dawn McEvitt, masses of material on there now, all different types. And keep the feedback coming in, coming in, coming in. And thank you to the people who donated in one day £560 and food for Stratford food so, uh, shelter. Okay, so let's get warm. I'll get rid of this ball. Lots of classes online with that ball. And I've been walking around the house this morning doing a few bits. And just walking around the house doing a few bits, my pants have been falling down. You know when you put those, those ones on and you're thinking, why? It's, about, it's a bit like doing uh, Zumba without your sports bra on. It's like, you know, why'd you do that? Anyway. So uh, I'll get the music on and we'll start our warm up, but please, please, please take it easy. Rest if you need to. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so just shoulder rolls, alternate. Just a very basic warm up. Now put your hands on your shoulder, alternate. And don't forget the class is maximum 40 minutes long. Change direction. So you can always bolt, uh, just roll without the hands. You can always bolt on any of my other sessions that are on there. Okay, just move the arm like this, not rocking sides. Community. Just 
so you know how other people are feeling, change direction. If you want to be on my mailing list, just give me a message with your email. You can always stop the email at any time. Side out lunch. to Pilates, so it's a lot of um, leaning, spending a lot of time on turners, spending a lot of time leaning on joints, so that is a little bit of a downside. Last four. Uh, 50% every 10 years. So 
I'm going to steal a yoga move. All right, come with me. Restack, shoulders relax, chin to your chest, roll. One, vertebrae at a time. Pilates is only done in two speeds. Slow and slow. Unless you're doing, for example, 100, where you pulse. Some exercises we pulse, but mainly it's done really, really slowly. Okay, guys, going as far as we can. From here, we walk it out, not all the way. Halfway, look. Now, I'm dropping my head in between my upper arms. I'm pushing through my hips backwards, pushing my heels into the floor. My calves are talking to me. I'm leaning on my wrists and doing exactly what I explained at the beginning. Okay, hold it. Downward dog. Push through the hips. Drop the back. Uh, sorry, drop the head uh, in between your arms, as you can see. If you need to bend your knees to come out of it, that's absolutely fine. Other than that, everybody, walk it back. Walk it back. Walk it back. Walk it back. Bend your knees, everybody, everybody, everybody. And sit in monkey. Head up. Let the blood just redistribute. Redistrib My mouth isn't working today. Some of you are going, hooray! Redistribute our blood into a monkey pose. From here, hands down again. Straighten the legs if you can. Yeah, are you with me? Let's walk back out into downward dog. Downward dog, only halfway. Pushing the heels of the hands into the mat and down with the heels of our feet. Pushing through the hips, pushing back. Switch. 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 Switch.
on your knees or just above. Halfway. Stepping up your thighs. Hey guys, 
the wrist. When we eventually put routines together, we do less repetition. Yeah. But it's not a bad thing for you to get to used to how it feels, yeah? Alright, let's do a full plank. Core has to be switched off. Alright. Now, what we're gonna do is into one kick. Then I'm gonna walk forwards into a full plank. Now, just look at my hands. I can go flat hands, I can go raised hands. I can go fists, or you could even buy these. Plenty to do to take the pressure off the wrists. All right, let's go into full plank. Feet wide, salute, left, core switched off. Up we go. 
Knees wide. 
down flat. Push the hips back. Head in between your upper arms. Come on, stay with me. Toes. Scissor, one leg. Okay. 